Last time I showed you the uh, broken driver's side manifold. Um, today what I have is the passenger side, which as you can see is not broken, except for what I broke on it. And because of how this is oriented, the threaded stud goes downward. So I was able to get a wrench onto the uh, nut that was holding this on. Uh, this one was uh, close to the block, so I wasn't able to get... I could get a ratchet on it, but there wasn't enough room anywhere around to actually um, make it go. And I tried all kinds of universal joints and... After about 90 minutes, I said, what the fuck am I doing? And I attacked the shit out of this with a uh, Dremel. And same thing, I couldn't get like an actual uh, death wheel in there. The only thing I could fit was my little Dremel tool. And the other problem was, as I was cutting this, you know, of course, the, you know, the Dremel wanted to kick away or whatever. I couldn't tell whether I was still cutting in the same place or whatever. As it turns out, I... I'd gone through three quarters of this thing and then uh, I got frustrated and had Kara come and help me and hold um, the front part of this manifold up while I was trying to get out the bottom of it and then it just broke off which is awesome. It's exactly what I wanted. Here's, uh, here's the uh, awesomeness. But I have these now to be able to measure and get some new manifolds or build some headers or whatever but I can use the measurements to do that um, these have been heavily modified if you will you won't be able to see in there perhaps but uh, this one has already been cracked in this lengthwise here and it's been brazed and you know check this out it's Got a new hole drilled. We won't be using any of this. Uh, these are total crap. Um, but, like I say, they'll be useful to get some measurements off of, and no matter what I do, get another set of manifolds or build some headers or whatever, these, these measurements are going to be crucial. I was glad to get those off. It, it was frustrating as fuck. All the bolts came out, which is cool, because that's usually where it goes bad. But then, yeah, just getting down to the end where it was, where it was actually mounted, uh, that was a major pain in the ass. Like I say, I don't know why I didn't decide to cut it earlier. If I had been thinking, I would have just said, fucking cut it right away. Because it's not like I need this. And, the, you know, the, these studs are in the manifold itself, and I know them, so I just wasn't thinking. And uh, this one came off easy enough that I just thought, well, I'll have a go at the next one. But this one just was obscured. But now that I look at it, I mean, holy shit, like, it's just, why, why fix this? You know what I'm saying? It's a goddamn cast iron piece of shit. So there's no point in all this work and, you know, brazing in there and, fuck it. Even if you bought it new, th these are $60 a piece. Roughly. Um, I did see some stuff on Use Victoria. I'm going to have to measure it out and make sure that the uh, openings are similar. But uh, And the other thing is, uh, the other ones look a little bit like they drop down a bit, and that might be a problem in the fitment. But uh, Yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, that was, the, uh, that was last night's great adventure. So, uh, thanks for watching.